Hello, welcome to this lab. In this lab, we are to configure a DHCP server 4.4.4. So you are a network technician for a small corporate network. You want to use DHCP to provide TCP IP address information for the workstation on the network. You already have a Windows Server 2022 server named COP DHCP installed and running as a guest on COP Server. You have installed the DHCP server role and now you are ready to configure an IPv4 scope. In this lab, your task, your task is to on the COP DHCP server running as a guest on the COP server, create a DHCP IPv4 COP server with the following parameters. So we go to the COP server. This is the COP server. From the COP server, we are supposed to go to, let's expand this. Up DHCP. We double click on this. Cop DHCP. We go to Tools. Then we go to DHCP. Excuse me. Sorry. Go to DHCP. We have to configure on the IPv4. Okay, on the IPv4. So there is no scope on the IPv4 yet. So we have to create a new scope. You right click and go to new scope. This is where now we have to follow all the step by step instructions. We click next. The name has been given here i would always advise you you copy any information that can be copied firstly to save time and secondly to avoid any mistakes because with the with the test labs you can easily uh, make a mistakes with even the the case the letter case so we paste this and we go to next IP address range so address range it starts from this to this so I'll type this out 192 192.168.0.2.0 192.168.0 the length has to be 24 which is there by default subnet mask which is there by default 255.255.255.0 so we go to next then uh, an exclusion add exclusions and delay So from here, there's nothing we are supposed to do here. The instructions that in, it said do, do not set. So next. List duration, accept the default duration. So we are accepting the default duration. Next. Configure DHCP options. Next, router DHCP, uh, default gateway 192.168.0.5. So we add 
the next then we go to the next uh, what's the next step here domain name and dns servers Domain domain accept the default okay scope options and dns servers mm. i think here we don't have to do anything scope options and dns servers think here we have to put the IP address yes we have to use the one six one six three excuse me we have to take this one out first one six three one two eight seven eight nine three Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to hit the like button. Thank you. So we go to, we add and go to next. We don't have to do anything here. I go to next. Yes, I want to activate this scope now. Next. And we are done. Now we are going to the next task for this lab. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So on the cop uh, DHCP, activate the subnet one scope. So we, are, we should activate what we just created. You expand the IPv4, go to scope, and right click. And I think it's activated already. We don't have to do anything else. Sorry, we have to go to the scope. Excuse me, please. Scope options. Oh, I think I'm messing this up. Hmm. Just a moment. Yeah, I think we're basically done with that. So let's check the next task says, go to the GST lab. That's the GST laptop in the lobby. So we go to floor one and go to the laptop. So we are going to configure the local area network to obtain its IP and DNS addresses automatically from the DHCP server. So we go to settings, right click on the start, go to settings, then network and internet, then we go to Ethernet, change adapter options. Then we right click on Ethernet and go to properties. Then we go to IPv4, Internet Protocol version 4. Then we go to properties. And all we have to do here is obtain an IP address automatically, obtain DNS server address automatically. You click OK. And you can close this and I think we are done you can see even down here on the notification bar you can see that it's connected to the internet now and don't forget to subscribe and like this video thank you